Starbucks, I'm Maria Jewelle, and in case you can't tell, I'm super super excited today because not only am I talking about one of my favorite topics, water essentials, but I've also got one of my favorite stylists in the house. She is the brain behind Kwasi. She has also styled celebrities such as Nancy Sime and the Moment Z girls. Please make very welcome Jumoke Salami. Hi, darling. Hello. Hi. You look lovely. Isn't she pretty? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. So I'm excited. I'm about to talk excited. Well, I am too. Because <laughs> I'm talking about scams. So we're we're doing we're doing word of essentials okay. today. Um and I know that people think we've overflogged this topic, but as we were saying off cam, Najumake styles people for a living, both celebrities and working women, right? Yeah. And she still tells me that sometimes you still get an order for the very basics. Yeah. So it's not out of style. No, it's not. We're not overflogging. No, we're not. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, you know, I, I, I was going to say that, you know, is there, is there ever like a misconception um, when you talk about what are the essentials? Mm -hmm. like I, I was going to ask, um, does it differ for different people or for people with different jobs or does it change through your lifetime or is it always just, is it the same? Um, no, so water essentials is water essentials. So everywhere, so the basic 12, you know, water essentials. Now for, for people like us in Nigeria, it might differ from those who only maybe outside Nigeria, for example. Mm -hmm. So in Nigeria, boots are not really an essential. Yeah. So but if I'm in America, for example, boots, needs to be essential, you know, so yeah. it might differ for location, per time, okay. but the essentials are basically the same. We're talking word of essentials, like I said earlier, but I think we're going to tweak it up a little mm -hmm. and then say, um, word of essentials for the 2018 woman, mm -hmm. okay. yeah? Okay, I think that would work. So, for the trendy at heart, who would really like to keep up with the trends and do so on a budget, I think that we're going to help you out today and yeah. provide you the, we've, we've picked out six items, Hopefully, we'll cover um, what's trending right now and also somehow fit in with the word of essentials. Yeah. So we're, we're going to run through some of these and okay. then look at a few pictures and see. Okay. It's always good. Visuals always helps, right? Yeah, look at a few yeah. pictures and see how other people have, how the stars majorly <laughs> have styled it and see where we go from there. Okay. Then I have a task for you afterwards. Okay. So the first thing on my list is a white shirt but okay. then I called it a sophisticated white shirt because okay. I wanted to have a little edge okay. or a little pizzazz if you will so what's the best way to wear a white shirt if you're trying to edge it up a little okay um, so like I said earlier so this is like the classic white shirt what I'm wearing so I'm wearing something a jacket over my white shirt so some, this is another, a way to you know style your white shirt differently from just being from a say bland mm -hmm. you know so this for example is a really nice sophisticated white top yeah so this is not a shirt mm -hmm. for example and she's wearing it with you know black pants so like i said earlier i'm wearing a white basic white shirt yeah and i've styled it up differently this time so i wore a, you know a jacket on the white shirt mm -hmm. so i don't look just bland or just yeah there and all of that yeah so you have a white shirt and different ways you can wrap them you can wear a jacket on it you can wear it with skirts mm -hmm. you can wear like a pinafore dress yeah. there are different ways you can rock you can wear jeans, you can tuck out, you can tuck in. There are just different ways you can actually wear yeah. the white shirt. So this, for example, is yeah. a very good, nice, sophisticated white top. You know, mm -hmm. she's wearing it with um, black pants and it looks really good, yeah? So you can wear, you can do um, the collar pins, you know, brooches, different ways, trust me. It's very, 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 very walkable. Yeah. I can say that you can wear different ways and rock it different. And then this is Ozinda in a white shirt that's, and, and velvet pants, who would have yeah. thought? I mean, it's very stylish. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, if you're a 2018 woman, you should be able to. You know, <laughs> like yeah, so this is um, a cold shoulder white shirt. It looks very stylish. So, yeah. Okay, and I absolutely love this one. So, you can see the sleeve. It's yeah. like, like a bell, bell mm -hmm. cut sleeve. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. So, the shirt is already a statement on its own. Mm -hmm. And then, skirt, nice, new shoes, and you're good to go. So, nothing over the top, but yeah, you're still stylish. Mm -hmm. Because your shirt is not the basic classic. White shirt. And it's still a white shirt, still a staple for something different and stylish. Okay, and then the next thing is because one of the trends for 2018 is bright colors. So yeah. we have we've substituted an LBD, which is a little black dress, with a bright colored dress. And this is Olive and Modi in I think this is written red or orange. Orange, orange. I can't say properly, yeah. Yeah. And so, so the bright colored dress, it's 
simple, but I think it's very classy. As yes, well. so it's simple, sophisticated, and classy as well. So it's not the regular round neck. Yes. So you can see the detail on the neck, you can see the sleeves, you can see her body shape. So one thing I usually tell people is when you're wearing outfits, for example, yeah. always wear clothes that suit your body type. Yeah. So we all have different body types. You know, there's rectangular, there is the um, pear shape, there's hourglass, there is the apple shape, there's the yeah, basically. So you should wear outfits that suit your body type. So this is very beautiful. She has an amazing body and she's yeah. wearing the dress that suits her body. And I think this is Olive again. For a dress like a simple bright colored dress, how do you um, style it differently? Different, yeah. yeah. How many yeah. can you give us like maybe two different ways you can style something like this? Okay, so for example, you have a really nice bright colored dress. So you can wear the dress on by itself mm -hmm. in a nice palms and then your hair good, makeup on points and you're good to go. Next time, oh, I have this jacket. Oh, well, how would I wear it? Wear with a jacket. So put on a jacket on the dress. Mm -hmm. You know, your shoes are good to go. You can also wear a white shirt inside. So it's like a pinafore, quote unquote. Oh. Wear it inside, wear it outside. And then nobody even knows that it's the same dress. So it's just different ways. You can wear a skirt on it. So it's a dress like a pencil dress, for example. You can wear a skirt over it. And someone thinks it's a top. Mm -hmm. But it's your dress you'll be working <laughs> it. So there are different, different ways you can wear it. You can wear a denim jacket on it. Yeah, different ways you can rock it, trust me. Just okay. Just I like to wear the skirt on it yeah. and, and wear a white shirt. White shirt inside. I think I need to try yeah. that one. Yeah. Haven't tried that yet. And then this is Daring for me, Saleco in orange yeah. as well. I really love, I love everything about this. So, event. yeah, so what she's wearing now, they're all statement pieces. So, you can see the shoes. Mm -hmm. These shoes are not regular basic shoes, yeah. right? And her outfit as well is also a statement dress. So, it's like a top and jewelry and as well. And then her uh, earrings and her hair, you know. So, it's even how you style it. Uh -huh. how, now, the dress is statement, but then it's not over the top mm -hmm. because there are no more maybe ruffles or whatever and all of that. So, it's still a simple, you know, basic color mm -hmm. with the statements. Um, top and the shoes, so okay. this is beautiful. Okay. Right, beautiful. You can wear it over a skirt as well, a skirt over it, over and it. you think it's a top, and yeah. so it just so the third piece that I think every woman should have in 2018 is an Ankara piece. We have got to represent Africa. Yeah. <laughs> We're repping Niger. I mean, we didn't win the World Cup, but yeah, we won best dress at the World Cup. Our jersey so, was amazing. So we're going to have consolation. But honestly, I think that every woman needs to have an Ankara piece. Yeah. So here's my question. Now, there are all kinds of cuts and all kinds of styles. and all. The, what's the best way to wear? If you're going to pick, or let's do it this way. We're going to pick just one piece to buy, you know, right now. Should it be a, a top, a dress, a uh, skirt, pants? Which one do you think should be, should be the first item you would buy? Okay, um, so I keep saying that you always need to own an item that is very workable, okay. right? That's very multifunctional. Okay. So right now, I can say a, a skirt, a dress, I'm on the spot right now. <laughs> a skirt, a dress, a top, which is very multifunctional and very workable. I think a top, I'll go with a top. Mm -hmm. A top, you know, yes, it's very much functional. So you can wear it to church, you can wear it, your jeans and needs, you can wear your pants and you can make it casual. So you can just stop or just sit down. down. Okay. So you can wear nice pencil skirts with it. You can wear your jeans to so make it very casual. You can wear pants, you know. So you can, you know, I think you can still walk your shirt and car top, you know. Okay, so number four on the list of uh, essential, what are essentials for every woman in 2018 is an edgy blazer. Now we've substituted it from the, the regular black blazer to say, okay, you've probably done a black blazer a good number of times, or you have one sitting in your wardrobe, so try something new and get something with color or maybe a double breasted print, one. Yeah. Or prints, yeah. yes, prints. I think that's a good, but if you're working a print blazer, now let's talk about this before we make a mistake. If you're working print, um, a print with a what should you pair it with? So like I said, and I keep saying it, it depends <laughs> on how you can wear it and how you can rock it. So yeah. nowadays there are things we call yeah things we call prints on prints, class prints. So okay. you can wear a print blazer and wear a print pants or a print skirt. As long as they um, go together. Mm -hmm. And depends on how you wear it. Okay. So you can wear a print jacket and a print skirt. You can wear okay. a print jacket and a print pants. So it's like I said earlier, if you're a beginner or you're still taking it, you're very safe with fashion and all that. So you can just wear your print jacket with plain pants mm -hmm. and all that. Okay. You can wear print jacket with stripes. So it depends on how you can rock it really. Okay. Yeah. So there's really no maybe probably well there's do that those in fashion, but yeah, your style is who you are. Then the next on our list is 
a two piece. Okay. So they have track cords, kimono set, there's the blazer pants and um, jacket. So they are different kinds of two pieces. You know, there's skirt and top, depending on what you want. But mm-hmm. two pieces are actually very, 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 very versatile. You can always rock them different ways. You yeah. Know? As you can wear them as separate, you can wear them as a cord and all mm-hmm. of that. Yeah, so it's very important. You should own a two piece in your wardrobe. So this is Zina in. I love this fabric and I love the colors. Yeah. So I, I think talk to us about and this is a two piece, but then I think you can this can actually provide you with three different looks. Exactly. So, so this is one that. for example. So this is one look. So the full two piece day look already. Mm-hmm. Take out the jacket. So the inner top and the pants is another look. That's two. Take mm-hmm. out the pants, the top, the jacket, and probably a jean. Okay. That's the third look. Or a skirt or mm-hmm. not, um, pants, trousers. Yeah. So the last item on our list of essentials for the 2018 woman is a fun skirt now i'll confess i'm not big on skirts but Same lately <laughs> okay good i got a partner but lately i've been seeing cuts and prints and styles that are just really 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 beautiful like this one yeah so if you are you know just dipping your foot into the step king the, the skirts skirt kingdom um What's the best way to go? Okay, so take it a step at a time. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And then wear things or wear the skirt that really, really comfortably. Mm-hmm. Like you tell every woman, you have to be comfortable in your own skin. So whatever you're wearing, you need to be comp- confident in what you're wearing. Okay. So now you're wearing, you're going into the step kingdom one step at a time. <laughs> so wear something that you will be comfortable in. You're just trying the waters out. Yeah. Right? So this is really nice. But then the colors are really bright colors. Color. So you can start with a very maybe mild color. Yeah. You just to start with. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you're like, no girl, I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> Why not go for the bright color skirt and all of that? Yeah. So you can just start with the mild color, whatever you're comfortable in. Yeah. And then from there you can gravitate and grow and then 